This is an installment of Microsoft Office Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to look at Excel. Within the Excel application, I'm going to show you four tips and tricks. Minimize banner, merge and center cells, resize columns and rows, and add simple formulas. In the new Microsoft Office application, a ribbon has been added. There's some great information in each area of the ribbon. But some people find this ribbon to be in the way. So let's minimize it. This is done by selecting the drop-down, minimize the ribbon. You still have your menu, which you can click on and get to any of your information. Once you click on it, it stays open until you use it, or you click on the title bar. Merge and Center Cells. This is really fairly simple. As you can see, in cell A1 we've added a title called Merge and Center. And we want to merge and center this between A1 and H1. So we select those rows, open up the Home ribbon, and click on the Merge and Center icon. You can then resize your type by going back to the Home tab and resizing from there and even changing the font color. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to resize it to 24 and maybe go back into the Home tab and change it to a nice purple. There it is. Merge Center. Type's been resized and the color added. So let's resize some columns and rows. This is pretty easy. If you wanted to resize column B, you can always go up to the very top in between the two columns until you get the double arrows. Click and drag. It's that simple. You can do the same with your rows. Click and drag however you'd like it. Or select the column, go to your Home tab, Format Cells, Column Width, and type in the number. OK. Same with the rows. You have your Row, Home tab, Format, Row Height, and type in your height and select OK. Adding Simple Formulas we're going to add a very, very simple formula, and that's adding. <laughs> we just want the sum of this column. So I select B10, which is where I want the sum of all these numbers. And in that selected cell, I type equal. You can see that it opened up the formula tab. So in the formula, I have my equal sign, which if you are creating a formula, you have to start with that equal sign. And I can come over to the drop-down and see what kind of functions there are. We're going to use the sum function, so I select it, and it opens up a dialog box saying, which cells do you want to utilize? It defaulted to the B2 through the B9, which is what we're going to use. But if it had not, I could always select this icon, which minimizes the function argument, and select those cells by clicking and dragging. Clicking the icon again and selecting OK. My cells have now been added. You have just learned how to minimize the ribbon, merge and center cells, resize columns and rows, and add simple formulas.